Are you ready to be on top? All right, let me bring this back and down. Today, we are in Santa Monica, California, Los Angeles, all together, smashed in there, because we're gonna try Smize ice cream. So, if you don't know who is the creator of Smize ice cream, it's the one, the only, Tyra. The Banks, honey. Um, she created the word, uh, what was it, Smize? And I, it's so incredible because it's, it's, I grew up with her, Philippa grew up with her. She looks phenomenal. I actually saw her and met her a couple of years, maybe like five years ago. Um, in Doheny, which is more West Hollywood, Beverly Hills area. Boom, boom, boom. But girl, we had to try the smiles. We have a lot of information for you. Come on with us so we can see what's the tea. Because the word on the street here is, honey, that this is model worthy, of course, ice cream. And so, hop in, loser. Let's get some ice cream. All right, you guys. So this is what the actual mall looks like. How do you feel about it, Demel? It was fun. It was a great experience. I loved the mall. It was open door, which I really enjoy, especially now in the current situation we are in. I love California weather as well. So I think, you know, being able to experience both the shopping convenience and the outside weather, it's just so much fun. And because it's closer to the beach, I feel like it's a little bit more windier, uh -huh. slightly a little bit more colder. Nice and comfortable. Appreciate. And they have a lot of uh, a variety of stores inside of the they mall. They really did. On outside. They really did. This was, if you've never been to the Santa Monica Mall, I don't know what the name is, but if you've never been to it, I highly recommend because there's so many stores so in many. the mall and down the strip. It's It's a lot. It's a lot. There's definitely like five hours worth of like shopping there yeah you can see me right now being recorded to be honest it's just a it's just a, such a fun trip uh we hadn't been in this particular uh place before but we had been in the actual area. santa monica area and it's so beautiful it's like so high end there's like a whole variety of stores we went to just one of them which was more of a anime type of style yeah we had a little detour it was such a great experience to have seen all this anime like Pokemon, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball, and a lot of more of anime like My Hero of the Academia or, or something like that. And I'm also very beautiful Sailor Moon uh, playing cards, right, Amel? Yes, very fun. But unfortunately, they weren't Uno, which is like our favorite type. It is our favorite so we type. we didn't get them. There's a lot of variety, even within the, the whole, like, those of Sailor Moon, there's a lot of lanyards, a lot of like Japanese culture or inspired or I think it's what's that store called? Like Tokyo something? Tokyo Central. Is it called Tokyo Central? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Isn't the the supermarket called Tokyo Central yeah. too? Yeah. Is it an extension of that? Maybe. Who knows, honey? Oh my gosh. As you can tell we we're seeing here Android nineteen, then Sailor Moon, Even more Disney Sailor Princesses. Moon. Look at those were beautiful. I think they were like twenty nine ninety nine. They are very pricey. Uh, but they were very beautiful. They're, those are more like collector things. Mm -hmm. And I definitely enjoyed everything that we saw. Like if I if I were to have the money I would probably have purchased one of each. But you know, reality is another thing. So definitely you know, it's nice well, to see those I mean, things. And let's not say that you didn't have the money. I think it was more a priority thing. Yes. Because if you wanted to Look buy it. Look at this one. This is so gorgeous. That was like, a, how do you call that in English? A uh, piggy bank? Piggy bank of Dragon Ball. Or a Goku bank? Goku bank. <laughs> Goku bank sounds really fun. And then there's like I said. By the way, that store right there. Uniculo. It's so expensive. It is super expensive. I can't believe how people can afford. And it's just Uniculo. like not worth the money in my opinion. No, it's very plain. Very like kind of like the same style over and over again. Mm, basic. I wouldn't wear. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. And as we're go heading down, he's saying hi to us. And we're so excited to experience this Tyra Banks whole situation with the Smice. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for you guys to watch everything the store the logos the colorfulness everything about it and Domel, it's right here right now about to show us everything in regards to smice i think we're at the top technically the bottom but girl you know within tyra's lingo this is the pop-up shop the only store literally in the united states in the world i think but cool thing is you can actually get this Go online to smizecream.com 
<clears throat> and you can order it, doesn't matter where you are, in America, or in the United States in particular, and it'll drop to your door in a, what is it, a, a dry ice paste? Yeah. So it'll be like pristine, ready to go. I thought that was incredible. We have some sirens behind us, love that. So let's go and get this mize because I can't wait. I love the stars, I love the colorful, I love everything about it, the disco, the retro, everything is so beautiful, it's so outstanding. They have two sizes, right Amel? Mm -hmm. They have the half pint, which is around $9, uh, and then they have the full pint, which is, I didn't ask for that pricing, but I'm assuming it's anywhere from 12 to 14. Perfect. But overall, I think the store is very lively. Definitely an urban uh, club scene type of style. There's a lot of like, you know, retro. All right, you guys, so we got the flavors. They only had available half the pint, which was around, I wanna say maybe nine to $10 after tax. All of them come with a surprise inside of them. The flavor that I got was the chocolate barbecue. It sounds so wild that I had to do it. They're claiming that it's supposed to be like brownie chunks and deliciousness and All a right. bit of smokiness. So I'm kind of ready. Okay, so you open it like this. Okay. And then they come sealed, which is, which really is amazing. Nice. Yeah. Now they are banana based. They don't taste like banana, but I asked in the store, what does that mean? Is it a vegan formula? Is it a dairy free formula? However, no. It's a regular ice cream formula. Just a different face. They're handcrafted, which is really lovely. Kind of excited to try this right here, right now. Now the ice cream is a little bit tough with this like spoon. Tyra girl was good. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's see. It doesn't really smell smoky. It smells just like like a rocky road kind of environment, which is something I enjoy. And the name of it is chocolate barbecue, right here, right now. Chocolate barbecue. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like barbecue though? Very interesting. Very interesting. Here, try some behind the camera. Mm, all right. Mm, it's good. Has that barbecue flavor in the beginning? Yeah, like, it, it, barbecue and like beef, but then it comes like chocolatey. It reminds like me a lot of like, chocolatey. it reminds me a lot of like the McDonald's mm, fudge like sundaes. Yeah, I don't like You it. don't? No, I don't. Girl. I feel like it's a lot of barbecue. Well, open yours. I didn't even taste the barbecue in there. I do taste the barbecue. Cause I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. But um, I'm excited. Customer service was really great. I yes, they were very friendly. I was very happy to see that uh, everybody treated us equally friendly. The environment, I think, in the set is all about like music. They have like this huge uh, disco CD players on top. And it's very retro, very very lively too. Yes, and the guy who helped us, it was he was so friendly. He was very nice, very informative. He said that Tyra usually comes here every now and then. And Tyra was good. We were expecting to see you there. Girl. She stood us up. This one, by the way, it's a cookie surprise. No, I one. think it's like purple cookie this monster. Is purple, purple cookie monster and me. Mm. You mm. like that? It's really good. It's like, it's like purple -ish. You can almost taste a purple color in it, but not really. With a touch of magic, it's really good. It is very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. I love mine. It's yeah, yours is good. Fabulous. Oh, yours is not good? Okay. No, mine's fabulous too, but yours is very flavorful. You want to be on top? We'll let you know. Give us a smize, honey. I don't know how it's a smize. Yes, yes. Come on, boo. Where right. are you at? So I'm going to go ahead and get my hands onto this one, and then I'll come back with you guys. By the way, I have to show you the gifts that they gave us, but we'll show it to you just once and we're finished. To my I hit bottom which I like and this one has a surprise in it it's a little bit harsh and I don't know what it is but it comes I know with them. all of them are different but they're all based with cookie dough like that's their like base what yours look like mine's like coming up and I've got to say Tony this is amazing like I feel like this is very 
Like, yeah, she's the girl that you either love or hate. You know what I'm saying? I love her. I love the smokiness. I love the chocolateiness. I'm living my life, so I'm happy. I'm happy with the experience. What about you? Mine, I love mine. I just love it. I feel like mine is very flavorful. I personally would recommend it. Yes, yours was fabulous too. Look at the inside, the cookie dough. Is it, is it delicious? I think it's very innovative. I've never seen ice cream like this before. Mm -hmm. I gotta say though, it's definitely an acquired vibe, right? Wouldn't you say? Like yeah. it's definitely, it's, you know, you have to find your tribe within the flavors they had here. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit pricey, but the ice cream is very, very good. Compared to the last one that we reviewed, which is more the salt and screw, salt and straw, that one was more milky. It was definitely it had a different consistency. This one is more dry, um, and when I say dry, I mean that it's very hard. Uh, the spoon is very flaky; like it, you, can, you almost feel like it's gonna break, but it's not. And if it's my comparison to this one to the other ones that I've tried like Talenti from Target or the Salt and Straw this one is very very flavorful yes. it has a lot of flavors within itself um, I personally when I went onto the chocolate barbecue which is this one right here I feel like this one specifically has a, a smokiness of the barbecue which I don't like and then you can you can taste it it's the very first thing that you taste and then you taste the chocolate I don't like it because of that I love chocolate but that one was definitely Definitely not a hit for me. I know Domel said that he didn't enjoy it. He enjoyed it. I really did. Mine was amazing. Yours was amazing as well. It. Mine again is a purple cookie monster in me. And now is the final trial for Domel to give it a try into my actual cookie. Mm. Oh honey, I snapped that spoon in half. These jaws. It's really, really good. So now it's Domel's time to go ahead and do his own version of his surprise. So he said something about the cookie dough. What did you say about the cookie dough? Did you like it or not? Mine. You know, Miss Banks was saying a lot of people like cookie dough. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm just, I'm just not. Are we sure about that? I, yes, that's true. But I really do like the ice cream. I do. How do you like it so far? Everything. Consistency, flavors, price, even the packaging, I think it's gorgeous. And if, if, if I have to admit, I, I'm probably, uh, Tyra will call me or call us and be like, what did you say about this? But I feel like her um, her image in here, I don't know if, if it's in fire on her, but I feel like it gives me Starbucks vibes. Like I definitely can see the Starbucks vibes, but when you go to the it's actual like ice cream shop, Starbucks vibe. When you go to the actual uh, ice cream shop in there, um, it's gorgeous. Such a beautiful experience. Like I said, customer service is over the top. The guy who helped us was great. He was very informative about everything. I think they had two flavors out of stock. And he was like, you know, if you're looking for this one, then this is how I feel. While the male digs into his surprise, I'm going to show you really quickly our surprises that I actually asked because I had seen them. And... We got some pins. Oops, I'm sorry. It's an experience to go in there. It is an experience. So we got this one. This is a Smiles Rico a Smiles. So we had three pins. Then we had a couple of stickers. Um, very beautiful stickers. As you can These tell. Are tattoos, body tattoos with the flavors of the ice cream. Mm, that's interesting. I can't wait to do my makeup with these. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. And it's like Japanese. Inspired. It's like diamondish. How you doing, AliExpress? How you doing? You want to be on top? All right, you guys. So he finally hit hit bottom on this ice cream, and as you can tell, it's like his inside of like the surprise. It's yellow. How do you feel about it? It tastes like like gum. It, it tastes like gum. It tastes like that. I think it's called like angel cake. I feel like it, it tasted like hubba boba. Yes. It's good. I'm not the biggest fan of this. No shade or anything. It's just not my vibe. But I did love the smokiness of the ice cream. I didn't. I think this is something unique. 
and I, I love that. I love that so much. I agree with you. It's something very unique, something that you can only find in Los Angeles. I and definitely can't wait to see if she's in my screen. I can't wait to see if she's gonna expand to the rest of the United States, what other flavors she's gonna bring in. And, and again, the customer service is over the top. I can't wait to see Tyra grow within her whole Smice Cream yes. studio. I, I will tell you yeah. this, they are, they did tell us. Come closer, honey, I feel like I'm yelling, oh my gosh. They did tell us that they are working in more vegan, lactose-free formulas. So that's something definitely to look up for. We'll make sure to post pictures of all of the flavors and all of the information. I gotta tell you, in person, amazing experience, amazing quality. Uh, the staff was friendly and just very dynamic. So she did a good job, her team did a good job. And we're very excited to, to be able to present this to you guys because we love her hustle, we love the support. Um, and we love the fact that she's like entrepreneurial, right? Yeah. Slayer, period. If you're a new subscriber on our channel, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification button, stay notified, and be in touch. It is a thing, honey. Don't make me smile at you.